I'm Nadia Dunn. Welcome to NAP On Air. I'm joined by Charlie and Abdullah from Motion Supply Chain. I'll start with Charlie. Nice to see you. How are you? Pleasure meeting you. And, and Abdullah. Welcome. Always a pleasure welcome. to see you. Now, Charlie, can you tell us a bit about your background? Well, myself, I was uh, working with one of the multinational, and by 2012, we decided to pursue our dreams, as we say. And here we go, uh, having motion supply chain, uh, starting in Saudi Arabia, and growing with Abu Najjar, who joined me in 2014, and we opened multiple offices. And now we are part of uh, 2015, we joined NAP as a part of the founding member, and here we are together, keeping always the move and growing with such a beautiful network. It's lovely to see you. Now, Abdullah, can you tell us a bit about why you got into the industry? Well, it was an opportunity I had. And uh, honestly, I joined this business uh, just for a couple of months or maybe one year. I said I, I thought I would learn about shipping because I knew that one day or another I would use it. And I fell in love. I tried to stop it in 2011 and then I stopped the logistics and then Charles came to me in 2014 and told me you have to join me. I said no Charles, he said you have to and then we started together. We, at this time we were only five and today we are happy to be more than 80 person in the company. We have five branches, three warehouses and more to come. So this is only due to our very work hard but also to our partners all over the world, all over the world that helped us to, to achieve this dream and more to come. So stay tuned. That's amazing. And Charlie, how do you keep up with industry trends? By connecting with the right people. When you have friends in NAP, friends that can always keep you posted what's happening around the globe. So this is how you know from logistics, from IT, from networking, from all of the party when it comes to logistics and supply chain. These are the people you need to stick together and this is the people who is going to help you. Again, people is the most important factor when it comes to logistics. And trust me, after post-COVID, well, and seeing the people again a couple of days back, it tells you we are in this industry because of the people. And this is, this is very important. We make the difference. Despite the technology, despite things are moving, still the most important part are people who makes it happen. And Abdullah, can you tell us about a time that you've overcome an obstacle with the help of NAP? Well, uh, moving some huge shipments, especially during the, the COVID situation, we thought that being at home, this would create a huge problem for us to move our shipments. And the uh, NAP team was very proactive and everybody got, got ready quickly. And uh, we didn't get any failure. So we have to say thank you to all the members for, uh, for all their support, even during those difficult times. And uh, we proved that having a solid network is a very big asset for the company and we're proud to be a member of NAP and we want to say thank you to all the mentors that we have here because without them we couldn't have achieved what we've done. So thank you. And Charlie, lastly, could you tell us what your top priorities are for the future? Well, priorities, we set a lot of different priorities after COVID. One of them is to take care of our people. Two, take care of our strategic partners. Three, take care of our shareholders because they are really supporting us. And because of these three, I hope we're gonna grow more than just five offices. Who knows, maybe having 100 offices in the next 10 years. But I'm sure this is all because having the right friends and partners and the, and the right network. Well, it's so lovely to see you both and to have you here again at OpenNAP21. Always great to see you. Thank you so much. And we'll see you again soon. For sure. Thank you. Get for NAP, and as you can see, we are always there for them because they were there for us.